there's really, I think, two challenges that our clients are, are facing, and they're interrelated. And the first challenge is one of forecast. So it's in our industry, because of the lead times for biologics manufacturing, you're oftentimes asked to think about how much product you're going to need well in advance. So nine, 12 months into in advance. And so that length of time creates a situation where you're forecasting way into the future, and it creates it makes it the variability all that much more. So forecast accuracy is something that's really pressing. And then to compound that, I would say the second challenge is the availability of capacity. So because capacity is constrained in biologics manufacturing, um, that means that people are making decisions in terms of locking up capacity, oftentimes before they have everything sorted, sometimes even the process well understood. So I think the, the best way for a client to build flexibility into their biomanufacturing strategy is to start with their product strategy as early as possible. So understanding how they're going to commercialize that product. And by doing that and starting early, they can really understand their buy-build decisions. And so should they be buying that product or should they be building it themselves? And it, it, the more uncertainty they have, the more they should think about really going to a CDMO and using a CDMO as that strategy. So customers' challenges are oftentimes driven by their inability to forecast accurately as far ahead as they need to. And so because of constrained capacity, because of the long lead times in biomanufacturing, uh, it's oftentimes important that they build in this flexibility so that as they get more data and as their product strategy or their company strategy changes, they're able to respond more effectively. And so that's really the, the advantage of trying to build in that flexibility into their biomanufacturing and their product strategies as early as possible. So every client, when they're thinking about their biomanufacturing strategy, really needs to focus first on their product strategy. So the biomanufacturing strategy should be an outgrowth of their product strategy. When I say product strategy, what I mean is, what is the plan for commercializing that particular product candidate in its therapeutic area? I think the number one thing that sometimes surprises clients when they first start looking at their biomanufacturing strategies and they start engaging with the CDMO environment is how constrained capacity is. So oftentimes they're surprised by the amount of lead time that they need to be securing capacity. 